I love pigs. N no, Guida. No, I didn't mean that. I meant this is the Isle of Pigs. This is the Isle of Pigs. There's two spaces in there. Three separate words, okay? Yeah, now you're with me. Uh, dude, look at this catapult. What do you think? You make one wrong move and... Wha-bam! I am shooting you off into the distance. Probably to that deserted island there. Ha-ha! <laughs> uh... Okay, yeah, all right, I won't do that. That'd be a bit mean. But yes, Guida, this is the Angry Birds Isle of Pigs dimension, and my goodness, it is beautiful. We could spend, like, a summer vacation here. You know, if there weren't as many pigs, or birds that were angry, or catapults, and death, and destruction, you know, it'd be a great place to have a little vacay, but right now, we're not gonna do that. Right now, we're gonna focusing on, I hereby acknowledge that I've read through and understand resolu- Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll just sign this, fine, that's totally professional. So yes, it seems like there's a bunch of different sub-dimensions here, all the way from Sandy Beach, down to Party Peak, and, uh, speaking of Peak, look at that, they're on top of that Peak right there, in their very on-brand Pig Hot Air Balloon. That is absolutely fantastic. I wish we had one of those. It could be a giant Guido. Anyway, let's go to Sandy Beach, and, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, looks like we've got a lot of work to do. Who's this cute little muffin? Hey there. Okay, I'm here, and, uh, what do I do? Move the arrow close to the slingshot. Okay, oh, hey, how you doing? You're looking great today. Um, you're looking very mad. Uh, oh, hey, <laughs> Okay, so now I've got him. Whoa, are you sure you're okay with this? Okay, this is fine. Uh, boom! What? <laughs> this is amazing! We just killed that pig! This is fantastic! Wow, clearly I have a taste for blood here. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, that's a bit more complex than the last one. And where's my little buddy? There he is. How you doing, friend? Okay, we're gonna grab you, and we're gonna target all the weak spots here. There is a big block of TNT right there, but I feel like this area right there might be a little bit better. Look at that! Oh! <laughs> And they all come tumbling down. We can actually jump between different portions of the uh, environment, I believe, if we do something like this. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, did you see that? Dock and cover. Nice. Okay, let's keep this moving here. Uh, wow. The Leaning Tower of Pigs. -a. And look at this, guys. We can get all sorts of different angles. Oh, hey there, little buddies. How you doing? Can I pick one of you up? Well, one of you. Well, one of you volunteer to be uh, selected here. I guess, I guess that this is the... Uh, this is the unlucky guy that's been chosen. Hey, you two, say goodbye to your little, uh, your little angry bird buddy here. You might never see him again. He's going on an adventure he might not return from. Kiss your mama goodbye. Mwah. And kiss your papa goodbye. Mwah. All right, let's do this. So I can see there is a pig right there. Uh, let's see if we can snipe these guys. Boop. Do we only get one guy? Um, oh, no. They jump on. That's amazing. Okay, I see you there. I'm going to snipe this boy. There he goes. Okay, now you come with me. We're going around this way. I can find another one right here, hidden behind the blocks. That oh no! I missed, and now he's dead in a bush somewhere. Um, uh-uh. I think we're all out. I think we're all out of Angry Birds. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this again. We got the three Angry Birds there. Oh, so I guess they, like, carry across. Well, let's go to each different angle here and see if we can spot anything that might actually change the way we attempt this one here. Um, there are some central blocks in the middle. I'm not sure if they really are able to be knocked down. Can I knock down these blocks here? Or are they like hard walls? Oh no, they can be knocked down. Okay, let me try this central area right here. Oh, yep, yeah, that worked. That worked. That definitely worked. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go around this way. I can't, I kind of feel quite bad. But if we manage to target these little weak spots here... We should be able to. Oh, no, that did nothing. Let's try this again. As I was saying, there's a bunch of different weak spots, which if we attack, like, let me just focus my fire right here. If we attack these blocks, it really, they don't, they don't plummet. Does this, oh, okay. Maybe I'm supposed to be targeting the, the blue blocks. Oh my gosh. I think we, I think we did it. I don't think there are any survivors. Yay, we did it. Okay, so we've got a couple more volunteers this time and we've got a, uh, a wide variety of different structures here. I can see some TNT right there. So let's, let's explode that straight away. As soon as you see TNT, you've got to do it, right? We can also knock over these little planks right here. Uh, there we go, wow. We can just completely, whoa. Okay, just completely do that. And now can we just get a direct hit on this guy? There he goes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's not the TNT over. No. Oh, gosh. One tiny little bit more of destruction there. And there we go. We're getting one star? Really? I just laid waste to this little settlement here. Are you going to tell me that all this genocide was for nothing? Yeah, apparently so, Guido. Okay, let's move on. What I want to know, Guido, is what have these pigs done to us to the point where we have to blow up every little settlement of theirs to make sure they don't survive? Yeah, I have no idea, dude. I mean, they must have done something really bad for it to get to this point. And, oh no, we are almost out. Okay, we've got to play this one safely. If I 
Go for the TNT. This should cause enough chaos to maybe... No, nope, I was going to say to maybe knock this one over as well, but I don't think that's going to happen. And that's another failure. Brilliant. Actually, Guido, if we look at it from this angle here, we should be able to treat this like dominoes. If I knock into this, we should be able to make it plummet. Let me try something like this. Knock down that one. Yes, here we go. So that should... Yes! It's amazing. It works. No way did that guy just survive. Are you kidding me? How did he survive? Okay, just for that, you were going to have the most brutal of deaths. And there we go. And I guess you're the lucky one. Bird in the hand. Perfect. What happens if we shoot it directly in the air? Will it come plummeting down and, like, land on these guys? Oh, my gosh. Death from above. Death from above. Uh, never mind. Whoa, what are these little air vents? Does that kind of... Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Whatever that was, it kind of just did something there. Let me knock this over if we can. There we go. Is that going to have the same effect? Whoa. It knocks the blocks into the air? Whoa, that is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, we have failed. Unless... No, we failed. If I try and nail the supports here, it should knock them both into the center here. Is that going to fall? That's going to fall, right? That's not quite the effect I had intended. Did, did you see that? A whole layer got knocked out and they still managed to land there. Okay, I noticed there was some TNT there as well. Let me try hit the TNT. Hold on. Hopefully, this should have a pretty decent effect. There we go. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have knocked down any more angry birds or pigs, rather. So let's destroy this. And oh, is that support in the background there teetering a little bit? No, he lives to survive another day. There's got to be something missing here. There must be something we can do to knock this all down together. Let me try and knock this part down. And that's going to send it plummeting into the center there. I'm just not watch sure what these are. Not sure what these vents do, Guido. And once again, we only have one last bird here. This is so tough. So hard to, to manage, to make sure everything falls down at once. It must be something to do with these vents. What if this time I go for the absolute lowest support here? Will this actually... Okay, that actually does nothing here. Let me try this again. Let me try... Take that one out. There we go. It's gonna plummet. And that's gonna... Oh, I see. So the air vent is keeping that stable. Okay, uh, I'm gonna knock this thing down then. Hopefully, come on. Yes. Oh, but that guy's gonna... Oh, maybe not. Maybe maybe they're not gonna survive. Okay, fine. Don't think they survived there. Whoa, we've got new guys here. Look at them. Okay, Chuck can go faster than Red if you activate his special skill. How do I do that? What's his special skill? Release the trick. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah. Now press the... Okay, let me try this. Oh! Oh my gosh, Chuck. Chuck is amazing. Um, yeah, it's clear to see. Chuck... I love you. Mwah. Take this. There goes Chuck. And that's going to come plummeting down and explosions and death. Perfect. Ah, so this time we've got a mixture of Chuck and with the uh, with Red here. So how you doing, Red? Nice to see you back in action. Let's go for a different angle here. Okay, yes, I can see what we're supposed to do here. I'm supposed to do something like this, I think. There we go. That's going to send that guy. Did he survive? No, no, no. I don't think any of them survived apart from that guy. Now we've got Chuck here. Let's swap to the other angle, um, if we can. Where am I supposed to go? I really can't go up there this time. Okay, we'll do it from this angle then. If I do this, I think Chuck's the best for knocking down those supports. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Here comes Red again, though, with another trick shot. Here he goes. Is he actually going to do anything? Oh my gosh, that might be perfect. That might be... No, nope. once again, the trick shot didn't work. Okay, it's up to you, Red number two. Let's try this. Uh, if I can somehow knock down this TNT... Nope, that did nothing. Okay, Red, it's all up to you. I've not locked a, a single pig down, so it's up to you, buddy. Here he goes. Boom! And, okay, this, this thing is a beast. This floor is clearly impenetrable. This is unbelievable. Let's try this again. So I think we need to go for the support beams, really, of the uh, structure here. So let's go around here. Yeah, so maybe right here. I'm going to go for this one because I think Red's better at taking these ones down than he is taking down the, uh, the other ones. Uh, so if I go for this now, there we go. That's going to send that entire... Yep, there we go. Let me swap to the other angle here. We've got one last survivor here. Chuck's going to deal with him. Boom! And there goes Chuck. Now, are there any survivors there? I don't think so. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's all we did there. So this time, we've got a red and two Chucks. Fantastic stuff. Okay. Now let's get a different angle here. See what's the best. Okay. I see a bunch of support beams here. I actually feel like that one right there... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Let's try it again. I, I, I've just got a feeling about this one. There we go. And that's going to send the entire back half of the fort tumbling down. Let me try this again. Uh, maybe this TNT block, actually. Boom! There we go. Have we have we got any survivors? No, nope, apparently not. Let's keep it moving. We must be near the end of these forts here. Oh, look at that giant block of TNT. I'm going to send this thing plummeting into that block of TNT. Maybe not. Maybe... No. Nope. Oh! 
Well, we kind of did. Let me go for these giant structures here. There we go. That gets rid of that one. And it should send down these two as well. No, this one's barely standing here. Hold on. Or should I say badly standing? Okay, here we go. Boom! Threaded the needle. And there it is. That's all she wrote. Look at this guy. He's having a great time up there. Okay, let's ruin his day. Uh, let's do something like, hmm. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna survey this one first. There must be something. Now, there is some TNT there. There must be a specific weak point here. If I knock maybe this thing down. There we go. Oh, it should send the entire thing falling down. I think we've done it. I think we hit the perfect shot there. And are there any more? Oh, wait, there's one last pig there. You see him? He's hidden. He's hidden just behind there. Okay, come on, Chuck. Here's a snipe for you. Here we go. Whoa, boom. <laughs> I think we got him. Um, wait, is that it? No, there must be one more. Where is he? I don't see him. He could be anywhere. Oh, no, we did it. Okay, flash in the fan. Brilliant. Oh, my gosh, it's the king of the Angry Birds. He is here, and he's got all these balloons above him. I do wonder, can Chuck, like, okay, Chuck can pop them. I want this to land directly on this guy. Let me try this. Hold on. Let me try that. Oh, there he goes. He got hit a little bit, I think. Is that him? Maybe I'm supposed to be just targeting him. Oh, he's getting squashed. Wait, did the blocks, like, do damage to him or something? I think so, maybe. Oh, he seems kind of defensive against the direct hits there. Okay. I've got a feeling we need to hit something into this guy. So let me try this again. Let me try pop the balloons again. There's got to be a specific angle for this. Let me try this. There we go. Oh, wow. Well done, Chuck. That was fantastic. Well, a well-used well, a well -used shot there. That was brilliant. Okay. Let me try this one. Okay. And there go the blocks. I feel like the blocks are supposed to crash into this guy, maybe. I think that's what's damaging him. Okay, let's pop this one back. Go around this way. Pop these balloons. Is that going to... Are these blocks going to get flung into him? It doesn't really do anything to him. I have no idea what to do. I just know that we have to pop these balloons here. And that sends the bricks into... Okay, that activates the bricks. Oh, there we go. We're punching this guy with the blocks. This is... We killed him. We just flattened him. We did it, Chuck. He looked very happy about it as well. Um, Yeah, there we go. Two can play... At that game. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be an at there. Well, there we go. We dominated this first phase of Isle of Pigs. And, uh, no, Guida. No, Guida, the place. Isle of Pigs. You've, you've done it again. But, uh, this was a nice little adventure for us today, Guida. Nice to break things up a little bit with just some good old-fashioned chaos. That lighthouse does not look very stable. But, Guida, I'm putting my catapult down for the day. I think it's time for us to go. Grab those beach towels. Grab those beach chairs. Have a nice drink and relax near the, uh, near the beautiful ocean here. Now we've just got to figure out a way down there. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this installment checkpoint, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment down below. But for right now, this means Steve. That's been Guida. This has been Isle of Pigs. No, no, Isle of Pi Okay, I give up. Checkpoint complete. Bye, guys. All right, come on, Guida. Let's figure our way down here. All right, do I jump? I mean, I guess so. Bye, guys.